The next feature we need to find is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is on the y-axis, which means it is a point with 0 as the x-coordinate. So we need to substitute 0 in for x in the equation. Now we have the equation y equals 1 half times the quantity 0 minus 3 squared minus 2. As we simplify this to solve for y, we have 0 minus 3, which is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is a positive 9, giving us y equal to 1 half times 9 minus 2. 1 half of 9 is 4 and a half. So now we have 4 and a half minus 2, which is 2 and a half, giving us the point 0, 2 and a half as the y-intercept. So we plot that point on the graph. Finally, we need to find the x-intercepts. x-intercepts are points on the x-axis, so the y-coordinates equal 0. To find the x-intercepts, or zeros, we substitute 0 in for y and solve for x. The equation we get, 0 equals 1 half times the quantity x minus 3 squared minus 2 is a quadratic equation. But because of the form it's in, we don't need to solve it by factoring or the quadratic formula. Here's how we'll do it. We're going to get the x minus 3 squared by itself first. So, we'll add 2 to both sides to get 2 equals 1 half times the quantity x minus 3 squared. Then, we'll multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the 1 half in front of the parentheses. Now that x minus 3 squared is all by itself, we're going to undo the square by square rooting both sides of the equation. When we square root the 4, we need to include both the positive and the negative square roots, 2 and negative 2, in order to get the two roots of the equation. Remember, every quadratic equation has two roots. Now that we know x minus 3 equals 2 or x minus 3 equals negative 2, we can add 3 to undo the minus 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, and negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So x equals 5 or 1. Now we know that the two x-intercepts are 5, 0, and 1, 0. We'll plot these on the graph and label them with the z's, because they show us the zeros. It doesn't matter which one you call z1 or z2, though. Notice that the x-intercepts are each two spaces away from where the axis of symmetry crosses the x-axis. That's because the parabola has symmetry. If the x-intercepts you find are not evenly spaced on either side of the axis, then you know you did something wrong. Finally, all we have to do is connect the points we have with a curve, and we are finished graphing the parabola.